One of my female friends called me last year, lonely and frustrated that God hadn't delivered her a husband. Never married in 40, she was tired of praying, waiting and seeking confirmation from the Lord. I was wondering what might the reason she is not married yet. Here are some reasons why you are not married yet. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. 1. You are looking for Mr. Perfect. You want a rich, well-built, neat, romantic, hard-working, honest, God-fearing, faithful, dark, tall and handsome gentleman from a good background who has a good job, drive a good car and loves you unconditionally. I'm afraid that perfect guys you watch in a movie doesn't exist. You'll never find a perfect guy anywhere. 2. Waiting for God to bring your husband. Marriage is not a predetermined process that happens mysteriously. If you believe that, you'll get easily frustrated, if God arranges marriages, then why doesn't he stop divorce? God lets us make the decision to love and the decision to leave. It is good to pray for a good husband but I'm sorry God may not bring your husband to your room. Wake up, my dear sister. 3. Your standard of measurement is askew. There's nothing wrong with having a standard for your future husband but some of these standards are unrealistic. You want a guy who is holy, meanwhile, you are not a virgin. Your highest educational level is a high school certificate but you are waiting for a doctorate degree holder. 4. You're not appreciative. He sacrifices for you, buys you expensive things, calls you every day and sometimes pays your bills and other expenses, yet you don't appreciate. Very soon he will get tired of you. 5. You look too desperate. Your parents and friends are asking you frustrating questions about marriage, and you are so sick of those questions so you'll do anything to get the next available guy to marry you. You need a man so badly. The first time a guy sent her out for a dinner, she will ask you when will you come to see my parents. Well, let me tell you, the more desperate you are, the less attractive men find you. 6. You are not submissive. Future, wives, submit yourselves to your own future, husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 22-24, Niv. If you can't be submissive whilst dating, you can't be submissive when he marries you. 7. You're not supportive or helper. Let's be transparent, every man including me wants a woman who will support him not only financially but also emotionally. A man wants a woman who helps boost his ego, listens to him and encourages him. So, if you can't support him, forget that engagement, wedding ring. 8. You pay too little attention to your appearance. You wear excessive makeup, your dressing is too awful, you don't have a good hygiene. Haven't you been told that men are visually stimulated? Don't think your true partner will love you no matter how you dress. 9. You ask for too much. There's nothing wrong for you to ask your partner for something. But there are some things you need to do on your own. Some ladies would ask for almost everything including her underwear, earring, call card. Show him you can take care of the family and the kids, when he's out. A guy just asked you out and you want to burden him with all your family issues. 10. You don't have a job. Well, the gospel truth is that, due to the unstable economy, every man wants a woman who is at least doing something on her own to support herself and the family so that you would not burden him with all your needs. Don't depend on a man all the time. Ladies should learn to be independent. It is not pride but self-respect. 11. She refuses to listen or apologize. In any healthy relationship, both partners need to be able to communicate with one another. They also have to be able to admit when they're wrong, apologize, and be willing to compromise. If she can't listen to you, or thinks apologizing is beneath her. Nothing you can say or do can fix this character flaw in your partner, she has to do it herself. 12. She's become very controlling. A controlling partner is a bad partner, period. It doesn't matter whether the partner in question is male or female. Does she need to know where you are every second of the day? Does she demand access to your phone, get icy when you refuse, and pout until you give in to her? Tell her that it's over. Studies show that controlling behavior only gets worse as a relationship progresses, and that means your quality of life will continue to decrease the longer you stay with her. If you like our videos, subscribe and hit the bell notification to receive our next educative video. Thank you.